Hi guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous night here in the collapse of everything and the lightning bug show is just beginning here at Bugs in a Jar Farm. The appropriately named Bugs in a Jar Farm and I really should be out there enjoying the lightning bug show instead of sitting here talking to whoever, talking to myself uh, about uh, clueless fucking moron Americans here on this lovely Tuesday night, July 2nd, 2024. And I gotta put the little dog up in the bed. Uh, so this was going to be my rant today for India's garbage pickers a miserable and dangerous job made worse by extreme heat. The putrid smell of burning garbage wafts for miles from the landfill on the outskirts of Jammu, India. Never heard of Jammu, India. In a potentially toxic miasma fed by the plastics, industrial, medical, and other ways generated by a city of, of some 740,000 people. But a handful of waste pickers ignore both the fumes and suffocating heat to sort through the rubbish, seeking anything they can sell to earn, at best, the equivalent of four dollars a day. Four dollars a day. Call it, what, fifteen hundred dollars a year. Fifteen hundred dollars a year. Uh, here's the 65-year-old Usman Sheikh. Right? If we don't do this, we don't get any food to eat. We try to take a break for a few minutes when it gets too hot, but mostly we just continue until we can't. Sheikh and his family are among the estimated one and a half to four million people who scratch out a living through India's waste. Uh, in, 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 anyway, guys, this goes on and on. Uh, at the landfill, fires dot the massive pile, sending up plumes of smoke as two men haul a frayed tarp loaded with garbage. A six-year-old boy clutches an armful of plastic sandals as other pickers occasionally shelter from the heat, birds wheeled overhead, blah, blah, blah. India generates at least 62 million tons of waste every year, according to federal government records, and some of its landfills are literal mountains of garbage, and it goes on and on. I, I did like this quote at the bottom of this story, quote, as a society we have a responsibility to protect the garbage pickers. So I'm going to let you guys do your own rant about Indian garbage pickers. But uh, my thoughts of uh, doing that rant took a radical turn when I came across this headline. Uh, and, and that evil twin of mine over at that other channel has done two or three rants this year uh, kind of on a similar subject about how much money the mainstream media claims it takes a single person in this country, not India, where the garbage pickers earn $1,500 in a year but here in this country, these outrageous figures that the mainstream media, they even have a map uh, where you can look at your own state about how much money does it take to live comfortably uh, 
in the United States in the year 2024. Um, in New York, it is $112,000. For a reference, I made $23,000 last year. Okay, $23,000 is uh, how much uh, Sam Mitchell at Collapse Chronicles made last year. And uh, probably about the same this year. But anyway, but this is a little bit of a different spin. So and from CBS News, instead of the <clears throat> in, in, instead of the mainstream media just telling you how much you need to learn and to, to earn to live comfortably, we're going to hear from the 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 clueless fucking moron whiner little pussies themselves. Here is how much Americans say say they need to earn to live comfortably. Okay. Americans have a specific annual income in mind for what it would take to feel financially secure, according to a new survey from Bankrate. The magic number, what's your guess, guys? The magic number. Uh, I live pretty comfortably on $23,000 a year. So, what do you think the uh, magic number for the for, for the people? Uh, probably not a real representative sample, but probably it was fairly representative. If your number was one hundred eighty-six thousand dollars per year, give yourself a gold star basically 10 times the income every month that an Indian garbage picker makes in a year. So, what, 120 Indian garbage pickers could live off, could live comfortably off of $186,000. Sam Mitchell at Collapse Chronicles. Uh, well, let's see... You're calling it 25, that's four, seven and a half Sam Mitchells <clears throat> at Collapse Chronicles could live comfortably on $186,000 per year. Currently, only 6% of U.S. adults make that amount or more, Bankrate said. <clears throat> the median family income falls between 51,000 and 86,000 according to the latest federal data achieving financial security okay, here is the definition of achieving financial security which is another way of saying living comfortably by the new definition of comfort this is the definition Achieving financial security, you know, to live comfortably, means, thank you, means being able to pay your bills while having enough left over to make some, some discretionary purchases and put money away for the future, the personal finance site said. It doesn't say how much of that one hundred and eighty-six thousand dollars. You know, it, in this article, it unfortunately doesn't break it down. How? And this is one person. This is not a family of four. This is one adult to live comfortably in this country in twenty twenty-four, according to these little whiny pussies. <coughs> uh, many. In, so it doesn't break down how much to pay the bills, how much, and what is the definition of discretionary purchases, and it doesn't say how much of that's putting away for the future. <coughs> and it doesn't talk about how much money goes for health 
Okay. I spent exactly zero per year on health care. You tell them, Al. Uh, many inflation wary consumers continue to experience financial stress with a new Federal Reserve Bank of Philadelphia survey finding that 35% of Americans are worried about making ends meet, up from 29% last year. 35% of Americans, the, the same people who think they need $186,000 to live comfortably, say they're worried about making ends meet. I uh, am having no problem making ends meet on $23,000 a year. I just added a new screened porch to this tiny house today. <clears throat> that gap, that gap between what the typical American earns and what they aspire to earn means, quote, this is Sarah Foster, an analyst at Bankrate. Americans have their eyes set on this high income and they think they need to make more money, even if they know it's unrealistic. They'll never make that amount. Earning more money remains at the top of many Americans' priorities. I would say even here in the Dumasphere with, with people I know, I would say earning more money is, uh, e even for Doomers, is more important than life on planet Earth. The, to the vast, vast majority uh, of normies, of course, earning more money uh, takes up more of their time and attention, y y you know, probably than fucking, uh, than, than anything else. Earning more money to buy this planet-eating, worthless shit that is killing this planet and every species of fellow earthling we share this planet with, it is more important to get their fucking greedy paws on more, more, more of this shit than it, 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 with complete disregard uh, for what their uh, consumer and lifestyle uh, money-hungry, greedy choices are doing for the planet. They, they never think about it. They don't give a fuck. What the, how much of this planet is destroyed uh, in a $186,000 income, what that implies, the, the level of destruction uh, to this planet, this is why humans need to go starting with rich, whiny, little pussy Americans. Okay, earning more money remains at the top of many Americans prioritized as the price of shelter, food, and medical care remains stubbornly high after two years of rising inflation to cope Consumers are cutting spending on dining out, entertainment, travel, and staying in tiny houses at vacation rentals in the Finger Lakes. A TransUnion study found, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to, I made $15,000 last year as a vacation rental host. I will not make $15,000 this year and uh, I make $9,000 a year Social Security, for anyone wondering. Bank rate survey of 2,400 Americans in mid-May found that younger generations are actually more optimistic about eventually earning enough to live comfortably. 
you know, then talking about what they were referring to, are all of these little whiny, uh, they, 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 these little whiny boomers. Uh, I don't know, did any of you see, uh, I didn't say much about it. I was actually interviewed in Business Insider magazine. I think I'm the only person on the planet to go from being interviewed on soft white underbelly to being uh, interviewed for my Business Insider magazine did a profile on me <clears throat> about a month ago because, uh, you know, writing all of these articles from these whiny uh, little um, pathetic uh, little uh, boomers uh, who earn six times as much as I do whining about how they're fucking starving to death and, and, and working at Walmart as greeters and, and I called them on their fucking bullshit. And uh, shockingly, Business Insider did this profile uh, and, and, and I showed them. And, and I had to send in my vacation rental receipts. They needed to see my social security. You know, I mean, they really vetted me uh, here to make sure I wasn't making this shit up. And uh, as I said, you know, in, in that story, I have no fucking sympathy. No fucking sympathy. Uh, for for somebody uh, er, 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 earning any more than twenty three thousand dollars a year, fucking whining about how tough they ha they have it. Anyway, uh, you can find my interview on Business Insider somewhere. Anyway, getting back. So, what does it take to be rich? What is now, what does it take to be rich in 2024, which is, of course, everybody's dream is to be rich. Americans have an even higher yardstick for feeling rich. The survey found they believe they would need to earn $520,000 per year to qualify as wealthy up from $483,000 response during the same survey this time last year. The rising cost of consumer goods is a chief reason for the increase, Foster said. Quote, inflation is the centerpiece for this narrative. Americans know where the bar is for living comfortably, but every time they get there, the cost of living goes up and the bar grows further and further away. Yes. Another recent report found that adults in major U.S. cities need to earn $96,500 annually before taxes to afford basic necessities and savings while a two-parent household with two children needs a combined $235,000 for a comfortable life. Uh, interestingly, 2023 research from the late Nobel Prize winning economist Daniel Kahneman and colleagues suggest that happiness does increase with income up to about $500,000. So $500,000 can buy you happiness. Roughly the income Americans told bank rate would make them feel rich. And of course, we have a this fellow Humpty Dumpty weighing in uh, with his opinion on this unadulterated fucking horseshit. I am 64 years old, living comfortably on less than $25,000 per year. Inflation is not the centerpiece of this narrative. 
Americans being entitled spoiled brats is the centerpiece of this narrative. I have exactly zero sympathy for these whiners. Zero sympathy. You know, uh, when uh, I walked away from, uh, I made in 2007, I made $113,000, which is, uh, I don't know, that's probably $186,000 uh, or so in today's wages. I fucking walked away from it. Okay. Uh, th th this crap, uh, you know, living in my fucking uh, four bedroom, three bath house uh, on the fucking uh, green belt in South Austin. What was it? Was it four or five uh, rental houses? I was a single man. Uh, you know, my, my, my goddamn tree houses, uh, my car, my truck, flying all around the world, my $22,000 uh, Home Depot credit card. Uh, I, I, I was a one-man uh, ecocidal maniac, and I pulled my head out of my ass. Here I am. 16 years later, making uh, less than one-fourth the money I was making 16 years ago. Fucking whiners. This is the reason that this planet is fucked. This right here is a fucking reason this planet is fucked. It's, it's these greedy, pathetic whiny uh, little uh, Americans thinking they need a hundred and eighty six thousand fucking dollars to, to buy all of this shit. Uh, you know, as I said in that, uh, in that Business Insider article, I think they published this line, your grandmother would be embarrassed. You little spoiled fucking brat. You whiny little pussy. I got no fucking, no fucking sympathy for you on any level. It's fuckers like you that are killing this planet. Anyway, since I can't afford uh, to go out to a movie tonight, I'm going to go out there and enjoy, take my margarita with my $23,000 a year, I still have my two margaritas every night uh, and enjoy the Lightning Bug Show here at Bugs in a Jar Farm while I still can. Bye, guys. There's little dog. What do you think? How much money do you need to make to live comfortably? You look like you're living pretty comfortably in this seven foot by seven foot converted tool shed. Are you living comfortably or are you worried uh, about the latest fucking gadget you need? You say, Pop, I'm just thinking about woodchucks. Bye, guys.